using the sign law here to solve a question where we have, let's zoom in, we have two known angles. Well, technically we have three because we can figure out the third and we have one side. So as I said, let's figure out that third angle, which is gonna be this one here. And we know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle are 180 degrees. So if we subtract 50 and then we subtract 34 degrees, we are left with, what are we left with? That's 80, that'll be 96 degrees. So this angle here is 96. And if you look at it, you know, it looks like it's just a little bit past 90. That's good. And um, I think we're ready to solve. So the sine law is used when you have um, an angle and it's opposite side. You have, to have, you have to have at least one pair. Okay, and in this case, we have this pair of angle and opposite side. Now, we're trying to solve this triangle, uh, the unknown side. So I'm gonna call this side B, lowercase, because it's opposite angle B. And I'm gonna call this side A, lowercase, because it's opposite angle A. Let's get that out of the way. And we can set up our sine law as such. Uh, I'm gonna solve for side A. So I'm gonna have A on the top over, try that again, A on the top over, sine of the angle opposite uh, side A, which is 50 over here. And that's equal to what I know, which is 54 over uh, the sine of 96 degrees. Okay, um, at this point, notice how the unknown is here at the top. I'm going to multiply both sides by sine 50. And what I end up with is A equals um, sine 50, which is some decimal number, times this entire fraction here. So I'm going to copy that, paste it here, and at this point I think I can probably pull out my calculator, which is what I'm going to do. So let me go here at the bottom, and oops, pull it over, out, over here, just drag it over a little bit, and do the work. Okay, so I'm going to clear this. I'm gonna do 50 sine, and I'm gonna multiply that by 54. Remember, I'm just multiplying my sine 50 by the 54. That gives me that number, and then I'm gonna divide by 96 sine, which gives me uh, 41.59, or roughly, let's just say 42 centimeters. Now for side B, I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to have an equation set up like this. In fact, to save some time, I'm just gonna copy it. But instead of a sine of 50, let's get that image there, I'm going to have B and the opposite angle, which is 34. So I'm gonna have 34 over here, degrees. And instead of side A, I have side B. And same thing, I'm just going to rearrange my expression. I get B equals sine of 34 degrees times 54 over sine 96. And that will give me, let's do the math here at the side. So 34 sine times 54 divided by 96 sine equals 30.3, let's just say it's roughly 30 centimeters. Okay, that solves our triangle, our unknown sides, uh, using the sine law.